Hello everyone, in our today's video, we are going to cover custom actions on field service admin. Uh, now, uh, let me start with uh, what are the actions type available for custom type. So go to your field service admin app and open the field service setting app. Under the field service setting tab, you will find the dispatcher console UI option. Just go there and click on custom actions. At your left hand, there, there you will find a list of action categories. Uh, there are seven category, uh, action categories, but for now we are going to focus on uh, these two, the GAN and the mass actions. Let me show you where these actions appear. The GAN action will appear here, uh, right next to your service appointment or your service resource, whichever type you choose. And then there is the mass action. The mass actions appear here next to the schedule and dispatch button now uh, to create custom action there are two ways first is to create the vision force page and other is to create a apex class for now i am going to show you how i have used the apex class to provide a custom action to my field service dispatch console to do so i am going to my developer console From here, let me open the class. So this is the class that I have uh, read, uh, written to uh, perform the custom action. Let me first show you on UI what this action do. When I click on any service appointment on left hand side, there is the option of change Jeopardy status. Jeopardy status is nothing but a checkbox on service appointment. Whenever I uh, click on change Jeopardy action, the action will perform uh, the, like in backend the action will check and uncheck the service appointment on UI it will just simply update uh, the service appointment with a bell or notification <coughs> sorry to uh, tell that the service appointment is on Jap ready and um, if I uh, like open this page in my UI, you will see the in jeopardy checkbox gets checked and unchecked every time I change the status. See for now in jeopardy status is checked and when I revert back the jeopardy status as in non jeopardy, it will get unchecked. So yeah, the checkbox is untrue right here. Now let me explain you the code. This code uh, snippet, you will get this code snippet on developer uh, uh, console guide. Uh, I will add the link in description. From there, you can just copy the page, uh, copy the code, and change the logic as per your need. And let me explain you this code a, li a little bit. So here. Uh, uh, this class implements the FSL custom GAN service appointment action. From there, first it's, uh, it gets uh, the service appointment and it's, uh, uh, these are the parameters that, uh, uh, that you have to uh, like provide while uh, writing the custom action class. Then 
there is uh, the list uh, the type of service appointment object it uh, gets the in jeopardy field the appointment number from the service appointment then it uh, the in the action it simply change the jeopardy status to the other one uh, then it returns the service appointment uh, successfully proceeded message and that's it so this is how the uh, custom action with apex class work in our next video i'm going to show you how to use a vision force page to mass reassign the service appointments thank you hello everyone this video is about how to create custom action for our free service dispatcher console before starting let me show you the action categories that are available to uh, look for action categories go to your field service admin app from there click on field service settings tab and go to dispatcher console ui from dispatcher console ui you will see a custom actions option here and when you click there at your left hand side you will find the action categories there are seven action categories where you can add the custom actions uh, the in seven of these we are going to focus majorly on GAN and mass actions let me show you on UI where these actions get appears so whenever we add any GAN action it will appear on the service appointment uh, scheduled on the GAN chart when you click on uh, right when you right click you will find the action of these custom actions the mass uh, mass action custom uh, action appears next to the scheduled and dispatch button right here above the service appointment list and if you want to add the service list action it will get appear in the expanded view of the service appointment from service appointment list now let's move further uh, how we can create a, a custom action so there are two ways in which custom action can be created first is by using visual force page and other is by using apex classes so in uh, today's video i am going to cover how to add the custom action with the um, apex class so i already have written the code but i will give you a short view of it how this code works also this code snippet is present over the uh, field service custom action developer guide you just have to change the logic of your code as per your need so uh, this uh, is a class which implements the fsl custom gan service appointment action and after that there is a action function with uh, given specific parameters uh, to uh, to perform the custom actions using apex class for a particular object uh, like service appointment you have to pass these parameters within the actions then the next this code is doing is selecting the service appointment which is triggered and then it simply changes the jeopardy status uh, uh, if it's true it changes the jeopardy status to false and if it is false it changes it back to true so this is what the whole code says now let me show you on ui how this works first if i open the detail page of this service appointment you will see that the in jeopardy um, checkbox is unchecked here on my field service dispatcher console when i change the jeopardy status here you will see that the checkbox on your service appointment ui is true now taking a minute okay it's done 
Here, the in jeopardy checkbox is true. Now you are wondering uh, where does this action appears because in our general setup this action doesn't appear. So this is the custom action that we have created. Now uh, let me show you how to add this custom action. To add this custom action, again go to your field service admin app, go to field service settings tab and click on dispatcher console UI. From dispatcher console UI, go to your custom actions and choose the category uh, on which you want the action to be available. I am continuing with the same where I have um, implemented the custom actions earlier. So I am clicking on GAN. When you choose the category in your actor actions, you will find a new action button. From there, you can choose the Apex class or Visual Force, whichever uh, method you have used. So, uh, because we have chosen the Apex classes, just click here. Provide the name that you want to appear, uh, visualize on the dispatcher console. Choose the class. Choose the icon representing uh, that particular action and save it. So, uh, this action will get appeared on your dispatcher console UI. Also, you have to make sure that you create a permission, custom permission to use that uh, custom action. To create that permission, go to your setup and look for custom permission. From custom permissions, just create the custom permission and uh, proceed further now when the custom permission is created just go to your permission set and add this particular permission set uh, to your like assign this particular permission set to your user so that's how uh, the custom action using apex class works mm -hmm. in our next video we are going to cover how we can create the mass action using a uh, visual force page thank you hello everyone in today's video i am going to cover the custom action that are created by using visual force pages in our previous video we have uh, covered how we can create custom actions using apex classes now it's uh, about visual force pages so you already do know uh, where we can uh, put the custom actions in our dispatcher console so let me start with the uh, moving uh, like let me start with the visual force page that I have created to mass update or mass reschedule the service appointments. To, uh, for that to work, you have to create a visual force page. At the same time, you have to create a visual for uh, Apex class or Apex class controller for the visual force page. Here's the code that I have written. Let me uh, give you a quick, uh, quick review what the, this Visual Force page code does. First, uh, it creates a container. In its container, we are opening the Visual Force page in editable mode because uh, for rescheduling, we are going to provide the service resource name and the scheduled start and end time. Then there is a action button uh, that will trigger our controller to perform the particular action. Then there is the list of service appointments uh, that we have chosen from our service appointment list. There are the fields that we have uh, uh, like taken on that visual force page. Uh, these are the fields that we have taken. The services source, scheduled start and scheduled end. So this is what the visual force page looked like. Let me show this on your uh, UI. I have selected three service appointments here and when I click on 
the reassign mass action here that's how it appears so these are the selected service appointments these are the fields that i have fetched on my visual force page and this is the action button that will trigger the apex class now let's move uh, further with the apex class what this apex class does there are two function one is after save function and other is uh, how to uh, get the, uh, the selected records so first uh, let's uh, start with the save function it simply uh, fetches the uh, data present in the list variable here and update the uh, update the selected service appointments and after the updation it opens a message as as a, as a update from updated successfully and return the null value we can also return the uh, url or uh, reference of next or previous vf page here then there is uh, the getter and setter method for the individual record as well as the uh, list of records then there is a reassign function in reassign function uh, a string type a variable accepts all the selected service appointments from the current page uh, from current page it's uh, n then it is separating all those ids with comma because uh, the selected ids comes with the comma delimited form here in list we are separa separating all those ids then we are triggering our function here that what uh, record needs to be updated uh, so you can change the fields uh, values from here let's say i want this to be scheduled for some other service resource let's change this one to and you can also change the scheduled start and scheduled end and you have to update it now when the field is updated it will uh, provide the SA updated successfully message and if you want to you can see the service appointment the service appointment that the fields were updated right there let me show you so yeah here the services so selected as James Clifton and these are the schedules that start and schedule end time now um, if you are wondering how this action can be added right there to do so just go to your field service admin app again from there go to your dispatcher console UI from field service settings tab and look for custom actions now choose the action category now i have created a mass action type so here is the place where i am going to add the action so again click on new action provide the name of your action select the visual force option uh, by default uh, whenever you create a custom action the visual force page option is already selected and select the visual force page that you want uh, to work here and select the icon and simply save it there is no need of any uh, permission set to perform the visual force page action so that's how the custom action using visual force page works thank you